Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Grand Theft Auto 5 Firefighter Mod video. Today, we're gonna be playing as the Polito Bay Fire Department. We have a brand new truck, which is gonna be tanker number two. And we need this because a huge fire is currently burning out in the county. Other units are already on scene, but they're having trouble fighting it because there's no fire hydrants nearby. The fire is burning out of control. People are trapped inside. We're gonna bring the tanker to the scene and try to rescue everybody. Let's go ahead and get this video started. The fire has just been upgraded to a five alarm fire. Let's go partner. They're having water issues and they are requesting that we respond with tanker number two. All right guys, so we're gonna be responding to Grapeseed. That's where the fire is at right now. My favorite part about just responding to the call is just spamming the sirens and the air horns. It just sounds so good. Oh, that thing is up in smoke. That thing is burning pretty good. All right, they need water. We got your water. We're on the way. Man, this thing is really out of control right now. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is get to where all the engines are at and then drop our tank. Tanker 2 is on scene. We're gonna work on dropping our portable tank and filling it up with water. And then if we have to, we'll go and get more water. All right guys, so we got the tank dropped down. We got the water in the tank. Got my gear on. Let me talk to the chief and see what he wants us to do. Hey chief. Oh, that sounds really bad. Do we know their location? You got it, Chief. All right, so it looks like the Chief is sending us inside. So I'm gonna pull a line, I guess, from the main engine here. And then we're gonna go inside and start fighting the fire as well as putting the fire out. So, you know what? I'll just pull it from my tanker, why not? So we're gonna grab a line. All right, we're gonna make our way into the fire building. Oh man, this thing is really going, okay. Jesus. Uh, visibility is not good in here right now. We gotta get some ventilation going. So according to the chief, there could be people in the basement or there could be people on the second floor. So that's where we're gonna focus on right now. Up, oh, we got somebody. All right, let's see if I can get this guy out of here somehow. I can't pick him up while I'm holding this hose and I can't put the hose down. So we're gonna improvise a little bit. All right, so we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna use the ladder to try to get this person out of here. Alright, so we made the first grab. We still gotta locate the rest of the victims. I'm gonna get this guy to the ambulance in the meantime.
All right, so let's get back into the house and see if we can locate the rest of the victims. Now, I'm not able to carry victims while I'm using the hose, so I'm just honestly gonna just try to find everybody and then worry about the fire later. All right, we located a second individual. Let's get him out. Just gonna do a quick search of the room, see if anybody else is in here. Doesn't look like it. Really need the other teams to help me out and get some ventilation done so we can see where we're going. Up, oh, I'm lost. There we go. There right, is number two for you. I always feel bad how they just drop like that so lifeless hopefully the paramedics can save them we got at least one more person in there though so let's keep searching oh that's a lot of fire all right so we checked that room this is a bathroom looks like the fire is starting to burn down the walls so we do not have much time in here we gotta get out before it's too late all right nobody's in here up, oh, we got somebody. All right, so the second floor is gonna be clear. We still have to check the first floor and the basement. I'm gonna bring the line back in and see if I can um, put out the fire now that we have most of the people out. The report was three to four. We got three. I feel like that's gonna be everybody. All right, here's your last one. There you go, thank you. All right, so we made it up to the roof. Uh, I don't know what these guys are doing up here, so I just came up here to do this myself. We're gonna try to ventilate, and then inside should look a little bit better once we do that. All right, roof is vented. I didn't mean to do that with two tools, but I guess it's okay. All right, we got the roof vented. That should make the visibility a little bit better inside. So I'm gonna grab a line and see if we can put out the rest of the fire. We got everybody out of the house. We still have the roof team operated, so I gotta be very careful not to knock them down while I'm spraying the uh, deck gun here. But I'm just gonna try to hit it hard from the yard for a little while, knock out some of the main body of fire, and we'll go back in with a line and finish up. All right, got most of it out. I'm gonna stretch a line and finish up now. Oh shit. shit. All right, let's go back inside, mask up. Well, oh, this food looks like it's gonna be well done. Let's make our way towards the basement since we technically never cleared it yet. Oh, there's a person in here. Oh, good. Okay, so there was a fourth person. I'll come back for him. Alright, so it looks like we have some type of drug operation going down, going on down here. So we're gonna need hazmat. We'll let the police know and we'll back out because we don't want to have any issues with that. As far as this guy, oh, I can carry him. I could have carried him the whole time. I was using the wrong carry. So there's a firefighter carry from fire callouts and then there's also a carry from close up callouts. I was using the wrong one. That's why it wasn't working, my bad. All right, well, that makes life so much easier. Now I know for the next time. All right, I got a fourth one for you. There you go. Good luck, buddy. Okay, I think the remaining fire is going to be on the second floor and the roof, so let's find our way upstairs. Alright, we're looking good. So I got some fire burning over there and some in the 
front. But other than that, it looks like the fire is gonna be out. So we got three more pockets. One down. Two down. And number three is done. All right, so fire is gonna be under control at this time. Let's talk to the chief, see if they need anything else from us. So we ended up calling a second ambulance since the guy over here did absolutely nothing the whole time. All right, so chief has no words for us. All right, there goes the code four under control. Looks like all of the patients. Ah, oh, one person did not make it, unfortunately. Oh, don't hit me. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button. Make sure you're also following us as well and turn on those notifications so you'll know whenever we post a new video. Don't forget, check out my website, acepilot2k7.com for more content as well. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.